welcome and thank you for tuning in this one uh i can lead nigeria without majority in national assembly this comes shortly after mr president okay president to be peter obi when he was asked hmm, how will you manage nigeria how will you manage national assembly if only you emerge as a president stand now that uh, labor party do not have majority in the national assembly how will you cope up with the leadership would you be impeached well that came shortly after rhino or mockery said ha it will be with definitely face impeachment certainly if he becomes the president of nigeria so in response to that Peter Obi said, hit his chest vividly that he, that I quote him, he said, I can lead Nigeria with a majority in National Assembly. All right, that is coming shortly, right from the desk of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. He has expressed the confidence that he can lead Nigeria without having the majority of lawmakers in the National Assembly. As I said, this came shortly okay it is coming shortly after political activists right now mockery warned that uh, peter will be might get impeached if he paraventure emerges president come 2023 Amokri said Obi might not find it very easy leading the country without the majority in the Senate Peter Obi during an interview on News Central TV noted that he had no lawmaker in the House of Assembly while he was the governor of Anambra State well Peter Obi is a man of integrity. Is a man that uh, was uh, being. Is a man that has been uh, tested and trusted. Whatever he says, hmm, he will tell you to go and verify. He has so many experience. Though he said that during his uh, his time when he was the governor, that in the House of Assembly, while he was a governor, that uh, he noted that he had no lawmaker in the House of Assembly why he was then governor of anambra state the presidential candidate said if lawmaker in the national assembly that uh, when they see him he is going the or he's doing the right thing as president that there was definitely a line i said he said that i was governor of anambra state without one house member from my party 30 members we are from another party now labor party even have one hmm. this one i didn't get no senator no local government chairman everybody was at another party mr obi speak on how he will fight corruption as well the former governor why he speaking or why addressing on how he want to fight corruption said that he will lead by example my fellow nigerians this time around is a time where we look at the president where we look at our leader as a mirror we follow the first step we do whatever he asks us to do knowing fully well that he's doing the same so national assembly will definitely align with him when he's seen doing the right thing he further stated that he would ensure that every or everyone around him also stand against corruption yes obi i know obi obi is a man of integrity i know him by his way he will try to come verify and this time around it is better we vote him we vote the person who we know that have done it before mr obi saying that fighting corruption is very easy if you if you the principal person are not stealing your wife or children and are not stealing those around you are not stealing then you have reduced corruption by 70 percent <laughs> that has been so how he says that has been it that has been his words that he has hit on the nail well my fellow nigerians well let me have your take without wasting much of your time what else are we going to say in this regard the truth has been that as this news is concerned peter b is a man of his ways and uh, i have started to say reason why i should believe him i can lead nigeria with a majority in the national assembly and he have opened up to tell you how he will do it it's not by magic 
is by living by example a good leader live by example and i know peter b has so many followers you can't tell me that uh, no how someone who have as followers as uh, peter b as multitude as crowd as group as being um pushing for peter be pushing for him they do not see what i'm saying right now i stand and i stand to be obedient well my good people i would like to say that the president candidate of the Labour party have said it all as has expressed confidence hmm. this one confident that he can lead he can do it nigeria without having the majority of lawmakers that is coming right from the desk of peter b i am not saying anything other than this from what he said he said as i quote that he will do wonders he will do great he will lead nigeria in the national assembly even if no one come from his party this is coming after political activists right now on mockery well i know he said it in relying to to respond to right no more crazy statements that says that her uh, my pres my president my 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 president yes he will that you will definitely be impeached if paraventure you come out or imagine the president that he might get impeached if he imagines president come 2023 and peter will be have answered very well my my good people let me have your take on this remember to send your take if you are joining over the very first time please do well to subscribe and then share for more updates the presidential candidate said if lawmakers in the national assembly see that he is doing the right thing as president they will align they do not have they will not have any option than to align and he said this shortly as uh, he said that i was governor of anambra state without one house member from my party but now he said 30 members we are from another party now labor party even have one that means he has even he has hope at this one he didn't get even one no senator no local government chairman everybody was at another party now he is saying the thing that he has done and the former governor why speaking on how he want to fight corruption also said that he will lead by example well he has said it all what else are we going to say rather than to watch and see what he has to do he has so many things to offer us my fellow nigerians my good people please i would like to have much of your take in the comment section if you're joining us for the very first time please let's cheer peter will be peter will be for 2023 well that has been the talk of the day in the social media a lot of people are saying well so many people even in the state and the one that happened in aquaibum a lot of followers a lot of students a lot of uh youth came out to support him they came in mass to have a work in support for peter b all right let me have your take my good people remember that you're into bless be world news and entertainment please send your take and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless